Hi, welcome back for today's project and today I'll be making a gift for a special person. I'm starting out by making my background using my favorite technique using watercolors. The color I'm using is the Winsor & Newton Potter's Pink. So I'm laying down my color onto my plastic sheet and I'm making sure that I have the right amount of water before putting it down onto my paper. I'm also adding some water on the paper itself to get my colors move a bit. The dry brush is helping me to pick up the water droplets before they can run down on my paper. When this first layer is dry, I'm repeating the step to fill in the white spaces on my paper and I'll also be making a grey background and a second pink one that you'll see me use later on in the video. Now my background is ready, I'm going to stamp my sentiment and I chose the Learn to Fly Again set from Visible Image. I'm working on structured watercolor paper, so I'm using my regular Misty to do the stamping. That way I can stamp my sentiment twice and be sure that the ink is getting into all the little dents in my paper. I have heat set my embossing powder and also drew some guidelines to help me where I should put my crackle paste. I will be putting my focal image on top of it, so I'm really taking my time to make sure I put it on large enough and then smooth it out as much as possible. While my crackle paste is drying by air, it's time to start working on my focal image. I chose the butterfly from the own kind of beautiful set. And again, I'm stamping it twice because of the structure of my paper. I'm coloring in my butterfly with the ink tense dark purple. It's a very intense color so I'm only laying down a tiny amount of pigment before blending it out. And I'll just layer different layers to build up my color. Now this isn't an opaque color so even when going on top of my black lines they stay black. If you would however use any color that is leaving pigment on top of your black you can use your Misty to get those lines black again by simply stamping your image again after your coloring is done. I'm showing it in an earlier video I made and I'll link to that video in the description box below and in the top right here on the screen.
So I told you I also made a grey background and I torn three strips out of it. I inked up the edges and made a little roll out of it. You simply roll it around a skewer and use some double sided adhesive and some liquid glue to hold it together. When my crackle paste is dry, I can go and lay down some color onto it. I'm using my watercolors to do so, but you need to be aware that not every crackle paste will take watercolors. Now everything is colored, I can add a bit of shading and I'm using my charcoal pencil to do so. And then I'll be ready to start putting everything together and finish off my gift. But I'm not quite ready yet, as I want a card to add to my gift. I needed a word that describes this person, and I found it in this Zodiac Aries set. Now you can see there are lines around your words, and using the Misty, it's really easy to stamp your words without the lines if you want to. You start out by stamping your words onto a scrap piece of paper, and then you cut out the word, which leaves you with a mask. Then you just lay down your mask on top of your paper and stamp your word again. It's just that easy.
I already have my watercolors on my background, but I also want some diamonds of this distressed stamp set from Visible Image. But I only want parts of them, so I'm only going to ink up parts and even take off some of the ink again to prevent I'll have hard edges. And since I'm using my Misty, I can go and build up the amount of ink. Then I'll reposition my stamps and build up my pattern as big as I want it to be. To add a bit of depth to my diamonds, I'm going in with a grey pencil before finishing off my card. <laughs> 